Assalamu alaikum. How are you today, my smart students? I hope you're doing well. Today, I am super excited to start the lesson. We have a new lesson and we are going to learn a lot of new things. That's why I want you to be ready for the lesson of today. Before starting our lesson, let's read the day and date. So I need your help to read the day and date. It's a new week and a new day. It's the first day of the week. So what is the day? Sunday. And what is the date? May 31, 2020. Yeah, and this is the last day of the month. And tomorrow we are going to start a new month. Yay, that's amazing. So today we're going to learn about centimeters and meters. What do you know everyone about centimeters and meters? Take some time and try to think. Yeah, you are right. We use the centimeters and meters to measure the length of an object. Okay, I'm going to explain more about this. But before starting the lesson, let's do some actions. Are you ready? So everyone, I want you to put your hands up and down. Up again, down again, and your hands are down, right? So clap your hands two times. One, two, and say, it's math time. Well done. Thank you for listening and following. So let's read the objectives. So by the end of the lesson, you will be able to use a centimeter ruler to measure objects. Ruler? Do you have a ruler, everyone? What I want you to do is to get your ruler. If you have a ruler, go and get it right now because we're going to use it. Something else, please get your math book and grab some pencils. Thank you for following. Here we go. Okay, the mental math for today is super easy. So I want you to stop the video for a while. Okay, write these questions down and answer them. Then continue the video to see if your answers are correct or no. I am waiting for you. Go ahead. And now you can check your answers. Wow, all your answers are correct. I am so proud of you. And now the problem of the day. Problem? When I say problem, it means I need to think, right? And also I need to use the strategies that we have learned before. So, what do you need to do, everyone? Who's going to help me? When we have a problem, we need to read it carefully and slowly, right? And something else. You need to underline what do you know and what do you need to find. Finally, choose the plan that you are going to follow. You need to know that if you are going to subtract or add how you're gonna do all these things by reading the question carefully okay so let's get started are you ready yes i know that you are ready you are the best so let's read the problem together and also solve it on night Hind's dad gave her 50 dirhams. Wow, Hind, you are lucky. Okay, so everyone, there is something important. I need to underline it. It's over here. So Hind's dad gave her 50 dirhams. So let me, or I want to underline this. 
Okay, let's continue reading. Her mom also gave her 50 dirhams. How many dirhams does she have all together? Wow, also her mom gave her 50 dirhams. That's so cool. Okay, everyone, tell me about your idea. How many dirhams did you collect in Eid al-Fitr? And what you are going to do with this money? Are you going to save it or use it? Okay, and now let's go back to the question. Okay, so now I want you to read what's written over here, okay? This is very important and it will help you to choose the plan that you are going to follow. So, are you going to add or subtract? Okay, so everyone, please stop the video for a while and try to think about the problem. Write the answers down and after that, we can check our answers together. Go ahead. So, are you ready to check your answer? Say the answer. You are correct. It's 100. Wow, you are doing great, my smart students. Okay, so let's move to something else. As you can see, there are two links here. You are going to click on the links and watch the videos about centimeters and meters. So, our lesson for today is about centimeters and meters. Can you say them one more time? Yes. Centimeters and meters. Excellent. Okay, and here we go. As you can see, we're going to watch a video together. And this video is very important, so please sit properly and listen carefully. And something else, please get your ruler before watching the video, okay? So let's watch the video together. Explore centimeters. Some rulers have inches on one side and centimeters on the other side. We are going to measure length in centimeters. Do you have a ruler? If you do, Look at it to see how many centimeters are on your ruler. Let's see how long this base 10 cube is in centimeters. Always line up the edge of the cube with zero. Then look at the other end of the base 10 cube. Which number is it closest to? It looks like the other end is closest to one. So this base 10 cube is about one centimeter long. Now let's try and estimate the length of this craft stick in centimeters. Remember that the base 10 block we measured earlier was about one centimeter long. We can section this craft stick into parts about the size of a base 10 block. Let's try and estimate about how many parts there are. This is about one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven centimeters. This craft stick is about eleven centimeters. So after watching the video, everyone, we come to know that we use the ruler or the meter stick to measure things, to measure the length of an object. When I say length, I mean how long an object is. So, for example, I can measure the length of the board or the pencil or something more longer, which is the distance between two cities. Okay, so let's read what's written over here. Use a centimeter ruler to measure in centimeters. Use a meter stick to measure in meters. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. So by practice, you are going to understand how to 
use the ruler and also the meter stack but you need some time to know how to do this okay everyone here's something also I want to talk about there are 100 centimeters in a meter there are 100 centimeters in a meter okay so as you can see everyone 100 centimeters equal 1 meter so this is a meter stack and as you can see over here there are 100 centimeters and the 100 centimeters in the meter stack will make 1 meter okay that's why we use the meter stack to measure the long objects so everyone I want you to pay attention I said that we use a centimeter ruler ruler to measure in centimeters right and we use a meter stick also to measure but in meters but can someone tell me what is the difference between the ruler and the meter stick I'm gonna show you now here is the okay listen carefully here is the ruler and here is the meter stick okay so we use both of them to measure but what is the difference so look at two of them and tell me what do you notice so what do you think everyone i think a ruler measures small things because a ruler is short excellent look over here as you can see the ruler is short and yeah continue and the metric stick is long so it measures long things so it's longer than the ruler ruler so we use the ruler to measure the short objects why we use the meter stick to measure the long objects okay everyone so i don't know if you have a meter stick you can check you can ask your mom okay so also you can use the meter stick today if you have it so everyone this is the ruler okay and as you can see there are numbers okay so i want you also to look at your ruler and to check the numbers okay the numbers on your ruler so I'm gonna do something now I am gonna draw a line okay from zero and I'll stop here okay so everyone how many centimeters is my line three three centimeters excellent so if I want to measure any object I need to start from zero I need to start from zero okay I need to start from here okay let me show you something I mean I need to start from here and then okay uh, line up the object that I want to measure in a proper way okay I'm gonna show you something look everyone at the carrot I want to measure the length of the carrot okay so I'm gonna line up the carrot properly starting from zero and then I will count how many centimeters so I stopped over here so so I can say the carrot is nine centimeters long because I stopped here so there are some important steps to follow you need to line up the object and the ruler in a proper way and also to start from zero and finally or the last step you are going to see the end of the object and where is the end okay so it's over here as you can see so after that you are going to write how many centimeters an object is 
Okay, so these tips are very important when you measure any object. So what I want you to do now everyone is to get your math book because we are going to use it. I want you to open page 685. Write the day and date and let's get started. So I want you everyone to get your ruler, okay, because we're going to measure these items okay so are you ready remember the steps that we are going to follow we need to line up the ruler properly so let's get started so here we go i want you everyone to use your ruler now okay this is my ruler i'm gonna line my ruler properly as you can see starting from zero okay see now let's read how many centimeters i need your help everyone so one two three four five so as you can see everyone it's five centimeters five centimeters long Okay, now um, I want to measure the baseball. Okay, so what I will do first is to line up the ruler properly, as you can see over here. So let's read how many centimeters, everyone. So I started from here and I stopped over here. So how many centimeters? Two centimeters. Excellent okay so everyone i am gonna leave the rest for you okay i want you to measure these objects use the ruler properly everyone and something else everyone if you are using the ruler to measure these objects put in your mind maybe your measurements will be different from mine so it doesn't matter so maybe it will be shorter or longer and now everyone let's move to page 686 so let's read the question together find the object estimate the length measure each object in centimeters or meters so everyone as you can see there are three objects so i want you everyone to go all over the house and to look for a pencil a desk or a box of tissue so everyone if you can't find a desk you can measure a closet or a dining table so as i said so far we use the ruler to measure the short objects and we use the meter stick to measure the long object so if you look over here everyone you can guess what is the measurement tool that you are going to use so let's look at the first one or the first object so if you want to measure the pencil are you going to use the ruler or the meter stick excellent you are going to use the ruler because the pencil is short so first of all i want you to estimate when i say estimate i want you to think about how many centimeters the pencil will be after that get your ruler and measure the pencil and see if your estimation is close to your measurement okay and then record the answers on your book okay let's move to the second object so everyone what we are going to use to measure the desk or the length of the desk we're going to use the meter stick or the ruler remember we use the ruler to measure the short things while we use the meter stick 
to measure the long things. You are correct. We are going to use the meter stick. So what I want you to do now is to estimate, think about the length of the desk. I am going to give you some time and then you can write the answer over here. After that, go and get a meter stick and take the measurement. Okay, so come back and see if your estimation will be close to your measurement. So the last one is the box of the tissue. So everyone, I want you to look at the box of the tissue. Think first, try to think how many centimeters is the box. So write the answer here. After that, get a ruler and take the measurement of the tissue box. Write it over here. And after that, try to check your answers and if your answers will be close or not. So write your answers over here. And now let's move to the last thing that we are going to do for today. So I want you everyone to identify objects in the house that are about 5 centimeters long. So go all over the house and try to look for objects that are about 5 centimeters long. So have a great day everyone. I hope the lesson was nice and you enjoyed it. Bye! See you tomorrow!